when somebody's riches could dictate someone's destiny. Explore the mystery surrounding his mentor stand with our protagonist. The politician's cruelty and unjustice have made up my mind. A world that's supposed to be a human sky harbor with these sad roots deep ocean. Those who once believed for such a thing had already vanished. Well, there are names. The author is one of them. I refer to the thunder lurks, no longer in foreign shadows. He's gone home to rest. I spent the rest of my life living up to expectations imposed by others, but more so by myself. At last, the rat is now dead. No one can hinder our plans now. One morning, I was informed of such news which I have not foreseen, for it was too sudden. A news I could not atone to accept on my own. The sky is a dim as the atmosphere around the lake. A little heavy feels in my chest upon seeing what lies in front of me. A corpse of someone whom I admired the most. I, for justice, searched for a new statement from its case. My queries was not answered as clear as crystal. A glance from my peripheral vision, I could not withstand the view of his body. A glimpse of his words reconciled within my mind. Collecting the results of autopsies, the authorities doubted to be a murder case. Well, in a few days have passed, suicide was the declaration of the authorities from its case. Yet, that itself failed to convince me. Curiosity lingers in my head. I cannot picture out things that might happen. Rumors spread, as if it was flow water. Detectives trace it slower than a snail. After hearing such news, I found myself looking up to his bookshelves. My feet brought me in this place. A vivid remnant filled every corner in my head. I sat nearby his table. I noticed his compartment where his original one must be a written book located looks oddly changed. I dug it out, placing my hand to the book. A decision about it divulged in my mind. I started an investigation of my own. Unjustified life, I cannot bear to shoulder. For someone whose life must be honored, Crispin, a dearest friend of mine, your glory is my glory, my confidant. Mysterious death in the West Village Hunts community raises questions. In a chilling discovery along the Hudson River, a Chinese fisherman stumbled upon the lifeless beauty of an individual, later identified as a mentor floating in the water. Reports suggest that the victim's West Village apartment was found in this by the NYPD, who collected numerous peculiar items and evidence back. Witnesses claimed to have heard unsettling shots during the night, and even a neighbor's cat, a black one, seemed disturbed, refusing to emerge from under the bed. Despite these ominous signs, investigators swiftly dismissed the possibility of full play, leaving the community puzzled and hunted by the unanswered questions. Surrounding the mysterious death, this case briefly made headlines in the aftermath of September 11, 2001. Attacks but soon faded from public attention. The victim was seen by its relatives around December from the past year. He is identified as Crispin Salvador, a famous writer and a mentor. This is Nashable for Flash Report and have a good day.
kay gandang pagmasdan ang kalangitan kay gandang may aling araw na ito para sa aking minamahal ngunit kailangan kong lumisan ikay lilisan mahal ko Pauman hinisinta hindi ko batid na ikay nagagawa oo mahal ko Ako'y lilisan sapagkat nangangailangan ng aking presensya ang pamilya ko sa probinsya. Maaari ko bang malaman ang kanilang kalagayan? Nasa mabuting kalagayan naman sila. Ngunit ninanais nila na lumuwas ako ngayong araw. Huwag kang mag-alala mahal. Susulatan din kita. Hindi ba ako maaari sumama mahal ko? Kahit naisin ko pa mahal. Ngunit ako'y makakasiguro ng iyong kaligtasan kapag ikay na rin ito. Naiintindihan ko. Ipangako mo lamang sa akin na ikibabalik ng ligtas at malusog. Pangako mahal ko, may nais rin ako ipapaalam sa iyo sa pagbabalik ko. Mag-iingat ka mahal ko. Paala mahal ko. Seems to be the business na major business right? Oh, another piece to be finished. Oh, another poem. Mm -hmm. A poem with lots of pages, like these ones. The politician's cruelty and adjustments have made up my mind. A world is supposed to be a human's quite heartfelt with a sad and deep ocean. Those who once believed for such a thing had already vanished. Well, there are remains. The author is one of the remains, I reckon. I put it that way. Mind state of affairs. Entitled, Virtues and Clemency. Interesting. I'm anticipating its masterpiece. What could have been his reason for departure around December? He never mentioned anything. After being so focused on that group, he became more distant than usual. As far as the color goal, It means something. About what? He's fulfilling desires such as some sort of group state? Way too far. She has a point. Her spin tends to adhere to the skip of his offer. But one of the things that he mentioned. Spread the knowledge then. He still might be having a hard time to process. Even so, he needs to voice out details to solve this seems to be a futile life event. He addresses you as Antonio Miguel. While speaking briefly of realistic appear, I see. Did he make any stance while delivering it? A bow, biting his knees, placing his hand on his chest. Seems nothing like him at all. Are you trying to say that I'm spreading false information? How would I know if you aren't? As if you, you were considered thinking from the other side. Excuse me. <laughs> Careful to not mislead people. What a funny joke you are there. Hundred and There was no chance he let me touch it. Not even once. Aspects. An old looking one. Something like a hysterical functional book. Excuse me, I have an account. Can you finish it later? Sure, whenever you have Things are things as I thought it would be. Ha! Hamda na yun? Umaas na tapalin na parang matapang ka? Kitang kita sa iyong mga mata ang tato at dunyo. Huwag mo kong higayang sa duwag na katulad mo, Dunyo Miguel. Kung may ayaw patakot, nararapat lang na tinapos mo na itong duwag na una pa lamang natin pagkikita. Sa tingin mo'y natapos na ito? Kung gayoy, tinakbuhan mo ang iyong taghana, 
Ika ay aking ihahatid sa huling hantungan. Tandaan mo yan! Hmm. Huling hantungan. Ang aking huling hantungan, Dominador, ay pagharap mismo sa iyong bak. Have you read any interesting books like that? I've just finished a class of To Kill a Rocky. The storytelling and the themes are timeless. That's a great choice. I've been exploring contemporary fiction, currently into Murakami's serial narratives. Murakami is intriguing. Do you really enjoy the blend of his magical realism in his works? Absolutely. It adds unique layer to the storytelling. Hey, have you explored any modern authors? Uh, well, I recently delved into Chimamanda Aldechi's Gozi works. Her narratives on the identity and culture are told for both mm. Adichie is brilliant. It's fascinating how literature allows us to explore diverse perspectives. <laughs> Any themes you find yourself drawn to? Um, well, I'm drawn to the stories that explores the human condition, complexities of relationships, and the impact of societal changes. How about you? Similar interest. The exploration of identity, existential themes, and interplay of culture always captivate me. Any recommendation for the next read? Um, well, I think you might enjoy The Kite Runner by Khalid Wazid. It explores into friendship, betrayal, and redemption of the backdrop of Afghanistan. Thanks for the recommendation. Mm -hmm. I'll add it to my list now. It's always enriching to share and discover new literary gems. Really? Is that even more important to you than spending time with me? I volunteered myself to lend you a help regarding with Crispin's case. We talk about this. I got nothing more to discuss with you. We talk about this. I got nothing more to discuss with you. Miguel, I get that Crispin's case is a lot. But we can't just let our emotions cloud our judgment. We need a well thought out plan to get to the truth. Madison, this is personal. Crispin was a mentor, a voice for change, and I won't let his death slip under the rug. I understand your connection with them, but we can't just die head first without a solid strategy. It's not just about us, it's about justice for Crispin! Justice won't come by playing it safe. We need to expose the truth, even if it means shaking things up! I'm not saying we should seek the truth. I'm saying we should be more strategic, gather evidence, and approach this methodically. This means legacy deserves more than a cautious investigation. We owe it to him to make a statement. Bye. <laughs> 
Kristal mo na tapos sila. Please, please, please. Yes. Sandali, sandali. Hayaan muna tayo. Listen muna, iwan na tayo ng natin. Anak, nasa kapatid mo? Night, Come here, baby. Ano ba kami mo sa kinay? Wow, bag! I'm begging you, don't touch my mother! Why is this? Patawad, kapatid. Ngunit hindi ako mawalay sa mga kadena ito. Anak! You're such a beautiful girl. Walang kamanay-mahay ang mga tao ngayon sa tunay. Paano mga bata at kababaihang kapitan? May mga sarili-sarili silang pamilya na ginagawang kanlungan. Ito'y nararapat na ialay sa kanila. Ngunit ang ating mga sundalo ay nag-aalala. Mas nangingibabaw sa kanila ang sumuko. Ang ibig mo bang sabihin ay ikaw ang nagnanais na sumuko? Kahit sino man ang ipulit ang sumuko sa itong sitasyon, kapitan? Hindi mo ba napagtanto, Ricardo? Ito ang nais ng mga Amerikano. Ang itulak tayo sa mga bagay na tayong susuko. Ang ating ekonomiya ay bagsakan. Mga kagamitan ay kakulangan. Sa lupang dahilan ba't hindi tayo maaari sumuko? Saan ang kababaihan? Namamatay sila sa gutom, Kapitan? Pagkatapos ng lima taon, tayo susuko lamang. Hindi lang kayo nag-aalas sa inyong mga pamilya. Mismong Diyos alam yon. Hindi tayo magpapasindak sa mga kalaban. Hindi ngayon na nailaban na natin ang ating mga katarungan sa habang panahon. Tandaan niyo ito, aking mga kaibigan. Pag tayo manalo sa labang ito, may papangako ko na ang inyong mga pag-aalala ay mawawakas rin. Marami silang hupo pwede pa dala taong taong, Kapitan. Malaki ang bansang Amerika. Ang nasa isip mo ba'y talo na tayo, Sergeant Lupas? Nagkakamali ka, Kapitan. Ihanda ang pagsasalakay. Iparating nyo sa kanila na ang paglalaban na ito ay tiyak na tayo'y mananalo. It's frustrating seeing how the politicians get away with this, with injustice. 
Don't you feel like you need to do something about it? Absolutely. The corruption is getting out of hand. And have you thought about using your writing to expose these problems? I'm considering it, but do you believe a words could actually make a difference? They can. We need to gather like-minded people, use our voice collectively, and push for reforms. It's time to stand up against corruption. You're right, my love. Let's channel our frustration. It's a movement that demands a fair and just society. Seems there are things to connect the dot with. But where do I begin? I lack sufficient knowledge. Hello, Grandma? Miguel, becoming a writer seems like an uncertain path. Have you considered a more stable career? Graves, I understand your concern, but writing is my calling. Miguel, we worry about your future. Not everyone succeeds as a writer. What if it doesn't work out? Grandma, I respect your risk, but this is to inspire me to take a risk. I believe in the power of words to create change and understanding. Words won't pay the bills, Miguel. We want you a secure future, not the struggle like the character in that novel. Creeps, I'm willing to work hard. Writing is more than a career. It's my way of contributing our history and identity. We just want what's best for you, Miguel. Maybe consider a more practical option while still pursuing your writing in the side. I appreciate your concern, Grandma, but I'll find a way to create balance to my passion and practicality. But writing is not negotiable for me. It showed me the power of staying true to one's conviction. Miguel, it's not that we don't support you in your dreams, but we fear the uncertainties. What if you face hardships like those depicted in your very present works? Grapes, I acknowledge the challenges, but my works also portrays resilience and strength to arise from embracing one's identity. I want to contribute from that narrative. 
I just want you to have a secure future, dear. Writing can be unpredictable and you worry about your stability. Grandma, I understand your practical concerns, but I'm willing to work hard, explore opportunities, and prove that my passion for writing can lead to a meaningful and sustainable future. Miguel, you could consider a more stable career while keeping writing as a hobby. That way, you have a safety net. I understand your suggestions, Grapes, but writing is not just a hobby for me. It's a part of who I am. We love you, Miguelito, and we want to see you succeed. Just promise us you will think about the practical aspects too. Grandma Grapes, I promise to be mindful and practical while staying true to my passion. Your support means a lot, even if we see things differently right now. I ordered some drinks for you. Let's get straight to the point. What do you want? Miguel, I'm pregnant. Since when? Just two months ago. A nice. I can't believe you kept this room. We were together, but now you dropped the bomb that you're pregnant. How can I trust you? Miguel, I didn't plan for this, and I didn't want to complicate your life. But you need to know the truth. The truth? You're telling me now? After all this time? What about Madison? She deserves to know everything. Miguel, I never meant to hurt anyone. You and Madison were already over before the thing even happened. And I didn't want to bear a blessing on my own with this situation. It's your child, Miguel. A blessing? A nice. I'd never asked for this. This affects everyone involved. You can't just play with people's lives like this. Miguel, I understand it's difficult. But I didn't plan for any of this. You were the one who had put me in a situation like this. I thought I was protecting you. Protecting us. Protecting us? Anais, this is tearing us apart. I can't believe you're hiding something like this. Well, I was trying to figure out my relationship with Madison. Miguel, I didn't want to complicate things for you. I thought I was doing what was best for everyone. Best for everyone? No, Anais. You're just thinking about yourself. Now Madison will never try to understand me. Ever again. Miguel, please, let's find a way to handle this without causing more pain. I never wanted to hurt you or Madison. It's too late for that, Anais. We need to deal with the consequences of your actions. It's our actions, Miguel, not just mine. I may have to decide upon raising the child. Yet, it will never be the way you want it to be. Excuse myself. Grapes, it's not yours, isn't it? What happened to the world you have sworn us, Miguel? Grapes, I never expected for this to happen. Expected? Where were you expected after that, such as disgraceful actions? Grapes, I know I messed up, but I didn't plan for any of this. I need to make things right. And that includes being honest with everyone involved. Honestly, Bridget, you have thought about getting entangled in this mess. Now, not only you deal with Madison, but also the consequences for the breaking your promise to the rest of us. Madison. Granddad. We need to talk. I have something important else to tell you. What is it, Granddad? I've been keeping something from you, Madison. It's about Miguel and Anais. Pardon? 
What do you yeah. mean? Who is this Anais B? I've never heard of her. Not from Miguel. Honestly, I had no idea about that woman. Yes. He approached me, claiming that she is a quintess of Miguel. Anais is pretty, and it's Miguel's child. What? Why didn't anyone tell me? But I only know about things recently. He's trying to protect you, but become a mess. But you deserve the throne. Protect me? By keeping such a huge secret? This is unbelievable! I agree. And it's not fair for you. I could kill this enemy. Thank you for telling me everything, Graves. But right now, I need some time alone to think. I understand. I didn't want to see you, but just remember, I am always here. We need to talk, Miguel. What's going on? Why do you look so upset? Graves told me everything about Anais and her child. Oh, is it true? Anais? I don't know what Graves told you. But it's not true. Uh -huh. There's been a misunderstanding. Don't lie to me, Miguel. Grace wouldn't make up something about this. I need the truth. Madison, I swear to God, there's no truth about what Grace said. I love you. And I never tried to hide something like that from you. Can't believe you're denying it. Grace wouldn't lie to me. I deserve to know the truth. Madison, please, let me explain. There's more to this, and I want to work it through with you. I need time to think, Miguel. This is too much to handle right now. Excuse me, young lady. May I know who you are? My apologies, sir, if I look like this, but I'm Anais. Graves. Hmm. And how are you related to Miguel, or any member of our family? I'm actually Miguel's lover. Ah, I see. Let's have a seat first. What did you just say earlier? Miguel's lover? Well, as far as I know, Madison is Miguel's lover. But that's out of the topic. Now, may I ask why are you crying? I'm pregnant with our child. Mm. And he doesn't want to take responsibility of his child. Oh God, Miguel! What kind of mess are you getting involved in? Well, Anais, right? I'll talk to Miguel first, but don't stress yourself out. It's bad for the baby. So you went behind my back and involved grapes. Do you realize what you've done? I didn't think it would escalate like this, Miguel. I just wanted someone's advice. And Grace seemed like a reasonable person to talk to. Reasonable? Our personal problems are out in the open. And Madison knows everything. I can't believe you jeopardize our lives like this. I thought we could find a solution together. We could have faced it together. Just you and me. Now Madison's involved, there's no turning back. I didn't want to hurt anyone. I thought Grace could help us find a way to fix this mess. It's not just about us anymore, nice. We need to figure out how to deal with the aftermath of your impulsive decision. Oh. So this is the truth, huh? Madison. Explain what? You have been lying to me and I have to overhear everything? What else have you been hiding? 
Madison, I... Save it. I trusted you, Miguel. I gave you a chance to explain yesterday. And you lied to my face. Madison, I... Save it. I have heard enough. I never meant for it to hurt you. I thought involving Grace would help us to find a solution. So you thought involving a stranger would help us in our personal problems? What were you hoping for? I was scared and confused. I thought maybe someone objective could help us. A nice, save those words. Madison, can we talk things out? You and I have a lot to talk about. But right now, I need some time for you. Madison, we can still fix this. If you had just chosen not to do such a thing, the only thing we should have been fixing right now is our relationship. We're done. Madison! I can't believe you're still denying it. Grace wouldn't lie to me. I need the truth. I don't know what Grace told you, but it is all blown out of proportion. And I just went for him for an advice. But now, like my life is falling apart. You're just deflecting, Miga. I need honesty. What's happening here? You two, calm down. Miguel. Need to be honest with Madison. Honest? Did you mention honest? She wouldn't believe for anything I say. You two both don't understand. You wouldn't be in this mess if you've been truthful from the start. This is all your fault. I didn't ask for your involvement. Madison, you can't handle the truth, so you keep pushing me. I pushed you because I know you when you're lying. You get tensed up, scream at everyone, and just get stressed. I don't know you anymore. Miguel, throwing blame would fix anything. We need to address the real issue here. I'm tired of everyone's expectation. You just want the truth, Miguel. You can't keep avoiding it. You want the truth? Fine. Maybe I'm just tired of all of you. Tired of dealing this mess. Miguel. Madison, grapes, everything falling apart. Take it easy, Miguel. Maybe talking about it will help. They didn't get it, Sadie. I never asked for any of this drama. Madison, Anais, grapes, they are pushing me to my limits. Miguel, maybe you should take a step back and think about what you really want. This anger won't solve anything. Miguel, right? I covered your space case. What brings you up here? Crispin? Yeah, it's been a while. Just needed some air, you know. Air or trying to escape the trauma? Back at the bar? There is always more than a story, isn't there? Look, I don't need any more drama. My life is complicated enough. Complicated? Mind sharing some deals? Could be interesting follow up, please? I've got enough on my plate right now. I don't need media making things worse. I need to go. Just leave me out of your stories. Then? Okay.
Ito yung malaki na nung una ko pa yung nakita. Oh, may problema ba? Oh, ikay na kawin ah. Hindi kaya yata nila nakilala sapagkat ibang-iba ang yung wangis pag ikay walang balbas. Ay, yun pala. Ay, nalito tayo kakain na. Inay, si Itay ko ba yan? Siyang tunay, anak. Hindi nyo lang siya nakilala nung siya may balbas pa. Ipagpaumanhin nyo ako nga na. Ngunit ngayon lang ako nakarating. Ayos lang po, Itay. Ay, kinagagalak po namin ang iyong pagbabalik, Itay. Tapos na po ako kumain, Inay. Ako rin po! Ako na po ang maghuhugas. Tulungan na kita dyan, anak. Huwag na po, Inay. Mas kailangan nyo po ng oras dalawa ni Itay. Ganun ba? Maraming salamat, mga anak. Kami na lang po ni ate ang magtutulungan. Mahal ko, nais ko sanang dagdagan pa ng isang babae, mahal ko. Kung ikaw ay manatili pa rito. Nais ko sanang pag-arali ng ating mga anak sa Amerika at mabuhay ng matiwasay at masa sa Ingles. Naway ang puso mo'y mapayapa ng sagyara. Sana nga mahal. Sana nga. Ito na ang natatanging panahon ay kisumuko. Buhay man ay matatapos. Di ko pag-aaksahan ng oras. Ika'y isama sa akin. Yan man ay kailan ba hindi mangyayari. Pagkakulong dati ito ang laban. Sa kabilang buhay. set things right. Look, I want to apologize for last night. It's just been a lot. No need to apologize, Miguel. I can see you going through a tough time. You mentioned Crispin, and it hit me hard. I appreciate you reminding me of that. It's what I do, but I can also help if I can. What's going on? I need answers about your speed. About everything. Maybe we can work together. Investigate. Find the truth. So you want to turn this around? Alright. Let's dig into it. But it has to be thorough. Is this Miguel Sivoko? Yes, I am. Why? Let's meet and I'll send you the address. What? Just who the hell are you? You want to know about Chris so badly, right? What? Fine! Fine! Just give me that fucking address! At last, the rat is now dead. No one can hinder our plans now. Poor Miguel. Your suffering will come to an end now. What do we do, buddy boss? Dispose this body and make sure no one traces are left behind. Remember, this is a suicide. Yes, boss. Yeah. We've won the game. 
Breaking news! A tragedy occurred earlier when a man was found dead in an abandoned place. The police suspected it as a suicide since there hasn't any trace of murder. He was then identified as Miguel Soik, a famous Filipino writer. The details are currently being investigated by the authorities. On the other hand, Crispin Salvador, a writer and former mentor of Miguel Soik, was reported for We Have Circumstances surrounding his death remain a mystery. Crispin, may I come in? Sorry for that. See it for yourself. Mm -hmm. okay. That's his name. It's about Miguel. What about Miguel? Miguel. He's dead. Are you believing in this too? And you expect me to believe in this too? Nonsense, Saudi. Crispin, wait! We have to face the reality. But that's not the reality, Sadi. He's gone. Whether you believe it or not, he's dead. You're not gonna believe in that unless you show me an evidence. The newspaper is the evidence. I'm a writer itself. And I also know how to manipulate that. So you expect me to believe in that? But Christine... Sadi! Enough with the nonsense. I don't want to hear any of your words now. Please. I found something suspicious about his death. Somehow, it is related to your death. What do you mean? See it for yourself. Don't you find anything suspicious? There's nothing suspicious in here, Sadie. It's literally fabricated. Please let them have their dinner. Sure, madam. I'll hold So we're not questioning you. I already secure your future. Thanks, Dad. And Dad, I have something to ask you. Sure, what is it? I'm just curious about politics and how it works. Well, girly, girly, girl, let me explain it this way. First, I'm the head of the family, so you can love your president. Your mom makes rules, so you can make you can love her government. We're here to take care of your kids, so you can control your people. You may have work for us and you pay her for her work so we can call her the working class. And your baby brother junior, so let's call him a uh, future. Now think about that and see if it makes sense.
Now. Wow, you really are sharp. Explain to us in your own words how politics work. The president is really fucking the world in class. And the government doesn't do anything except sleep and sleep. Nobody ever pays attention to the people. And the future? Well, the future is swings and shit. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we unveil a significant investigation into alleged corruption in politicians. An anonymous source and provided us with a link containing substantial evidence pointing to these individuals. This evidence is currently being carefully examined to determine its authenticity. Prepare for a revealing exploration into alleged corruption, exposing not only the financial misleadings but also delving into the human cost. Our investigation aims to highlight the potential of cruelty inflicted by higher ranking politicians offering a stark portrayal of the impact of citizens and society. Stay connected as we unravel a narrative that goes beyond monetary corruption revealing the toll it takes to the lives of affected. For a comprehensive understanding of the situation, be sure to stay tuned to further details. Still know how to hide your smells. Our time has come, Miguel. With this, we can expose their wrongdoings and let them pay for what they have done. Just wait a little longer. Soon enough, I cannot ensure death. Miguel. Oh, hey, you must be attorney of yours, right? Well, yeah, I am attorney of the heart of yours. I'm not reading once more. And I am Senator Fernando Estrega. So you're the one who's handling Miguel's case? Well, yeah, and do you find any problem with that or any concerns? Oh, nothing. It's just that we wanted to advise you to be careful. You're right there. Because you know that you are dealing with influential individuals. Influential individuals or 
Shall we say big persons like both of you? Be careful what you say. You don't know we're just up against. Well, I won't be cautious in dealing with people like you. Excuse me. Take care, attorney. Oh, I will. And one more thing. You gotta be careful. It's very nice to be caught, so please hide yourself then. Okay. <laughs> In a dramatic train of events, whistleblower Crispin has unveiled a web of corruption involving a potential politician. His revelation is supported by compelling evidence. We have featured a series of arrests with high profile figures such as and now facing charges ranging from murder to imprisonment of public funds. Flash Report Crispin's courage in exposing the truth has not only led to legal repercussions but has also ignited widespread protests across the country. Citizens are uniting in their demand for accountability, transparency, and a complete overhaul of the political system. As the accused politicians are with trial, the public's call for justice echoes through the streets. Protests are gaining momentum, and the nation is at a crossroads, contemplating the necessary steps for rebuilding trust between the people and their elected officials. Let's hear Nastraville Lorde for the details. Crispin, now under protective custody due to inherent threats associated with high blood dysfunction, has become a symbol of resistance against corruption. His actions may serve as catalyst for lasting change, sparking conversations about the need for more accountable and transparent government. In light of compelling evidence and a commitment to upholding the rule of this law, this court hereby orders the arrest of implicated politicians. The decision is rooted in the principles of justice, especially the pursuit of truth. This legal process will afford the accused a fair trial. Ensuring their right to present a defense, the court emphasizes that this action is not a prejudgment but a necessary step in holding public officials accountable for alleged misconduct. May the proceedings ahead be conducted with diligence, transparency, and a steadfast commitment to the principles that form the bedrock of our legal system. It's been a while, my friend. Well, I've got some great news for you. I see that you're almost at the end part of the story, my friend. It's plot. We're really meant for you. Especially the last part. I'd be delighted to read it for you, Miguel. Now listen. After Antonio and Dominador spar with rage and devoted heart splash, it ended one's life to the grave. Antonio miraculously lived with a whole new world engraved in his soul. A world with honor of clemency. 
he eventually met Christu, another, another brave soldier as he is. They shared the life events towards each other as they both let the path be a part of them. isang nakakamanghang tagumpas ngunit isa rin kabiguan ang nakatadhanang mangyari sa iyo kay Ibrahim isang tunay sa iyo din Kristo ako'y hanga sa iyong katapangan at katapatan isang karangalan ang makadalas na mga pangyayari ito sa buhay katapangan mismo ay siya rin katuwagan kay Ibrahim Ngunit tapang ang nagbibigay sa atin ng lakas na pakawalan ng mga bagay na sanhin ng ating kaduwagan. Ganoon na nga, bayani ang hangganan. Hindi ko kailanman ginusto ang maging bayani. Ngunit ikaw ay isang bayani may damal. Galing mismo sa mas may damal na bayani na katulad mo. And that wraps up your book with that. I hope I'm making sense by finishing the masterpieces you've left. I've missed you. I've really missed you, Miguel. Wherever you are now, I hope you're in a good place. Live on. Live on, Miguel. We've put those evil politicians in jail. And I hope... I hope that I've given the justice you desired to Forgive me, Miguel. Forgive me that I wasn't there. I wasn't there when they harassed and tortured you. If I only could turn back to time, I would save you would really save you. I'm really sorry, brother. Sorry for the time we lost and all of my shortcomings. How I wish I could make it up for you. If only I could, I would. Until then, my friend. Nevertheless, no matter how they twist the truth, its power prevails in the end. Justice is served. Okay, inhale, inhale, inhale. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
And then... Wow, it's so classy. One, two, three, action. Hello, one, two, three, action. Put step, oi! Stand na! Disturbed with cuisines emerge from water under the bed. What's your water under the bed? Day two done! Two, Miguel! Put rushing into this. Anna, very good, Miguel. Just in there. Anna, very good, Miguel. I like it. <laughs> Day three done. Action. Ayos lang po itay. <laughs> Day five done. But I'm willing to work hard. Girly Marco? This too. These two politicians are the one who attempted to kill you. Do you know why? Why? Because. <laughs> Action. Miguel! Throwing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tandaan nyo ito ating mga kaibigan. Kapag tayo mananalo sa laban ito. Action. Sa, kabilang. Buhay. Ayaw. Ayaw. Ayaw.